forecast. Kirk. Well, we're headed for a very chilly night after the groundhogs gave their prediction this morning. They said spring was on the way and it would be early and we will have some balmy temperatures, but I don't know if we're ready to turn the page to spring yet. Let's take a look at our radar satellite composite and generally the clouds have broken up as we've gone through the last hour or so. As a result, the temperature is beginning to drop off. There's not much left as far as any insulating clouds for us. As a result, our temperature is at 35 on the Jan Dills Marietta Skycam atop the Lafayette Hotel. It feels like 31. That's the wind chill from the winds out of the wind uh, north northeast at five. The relative humidity is 78 percent. The pressure 30.12 inches and rising again. So when we look at our current temperatures, 38 in Charleston, 35 for Parkersburg, 31 in Athens and 30 in Columbus. It's 31 in Toledo and 33 in Cleveland. So a little bit of relative warmth around the Charleston area is going to go. The breeze is again from the northeast here. Otherwise, calm conditions letting those temperatures drop off rather quickly. Now, the wind chill is more pronounced to the north of us, but it is present. And when we take a look at the 24 hour comparative temperature change, well, we're about four degrees colder than we were last night at this time. And Athens is only one degree colder. You remember that Athens had a cold pocket that uh, erupted just about this time and really dropped the temperatures. So when we take a look at our uh, echoes, nothing in the immediate vicinity as we zoom out, there's really nothing on the eastern part of the nation until you get way out into uh, the Massachusetts Cape Cod area. So we're seeing a quiet night. And again, that flow coming out of the north has really uh, refrigerated us. The cold front pushed through last night without too much impact, no rain showers. And we're looking at generally cold conditions as we go overnight. Now the cloud cover is broken up, but we expect it's going to come back just before sunrise tomorrow. And then it'll burn off as we go through the afternoon with bright sunshine and warming conditions, that will really be a step in the right direction. We'll see more like spring, particularly as we get into Sunday when the same process happens again. So our forecast suggests 29 for the overnight low, partly cloudy skies, but they are breaking up. Tomorrow, 48 for the high with a sunny Saturday in store. It should be good no matter what your plans are. But each night we drop down to about 29 for the overnight and the high temperatures climb into the 50 degree range virtually every day as we go through this week. It's not until Friday that we see a 58% chance of showers. But again, the highs are in the 50s and the overnights will be above freezing.